Right, I'm going to do my best not to make this video really sketchy. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So in today's video, I've actually had to re-edit the first part and the last part, the intro and the outro kind of thing to the video. So that's why it might come across a little bit odd. It might start in a weird place and end in a weird place. I'm not sure until the editing process. And the reason being is I actually found a video I lost. So if you've been following me, you'll know that we did Realm Verb. I've been doing various rehousings through Realm Verb. I know they're not my best videos, guys, but I am trying. Um, and one of my favourite ones was my P, Mashala, purely because it's a T I am sentimental about. It's a beautiful tarantula. It's the first panther beetus that I've raised from a, a small sling up into its juvenile colours. So what I actually did was I filmed this, I produced this video, ready for upload, and then I lost it. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Now I figured out how I lost it, but I don't know why I lost it kind of thing. Basically all my productions get placed in one folder and I must have accidentally clicked to change that folder when I was doing the editing and the production. So when it came to me wanting to upload this video, it was nowhere to be found. And then last night at about two in the morning after work, I'm going through some clips on my computer, bam, there it was. So why didn't I just upload it? Why did I have to tell you this story? Why did I have to chop the start and the end? Well, because it was done such a long time ago, weeks and weeks ago, I was talking about the upcoming Fatal Fangs in there and upcoming rehouses and unboxings, both at the start and at the end of that video. And they're all things have already come to pass now. So it would have just been really, really odd for you guys to receive that, which is why I have replaced this. So I'm not going to talk anymore. We're just going to cut straight into the video from the best point I possibly can. If I do say something a bit weird in it, you now know why. Okay, this was recorded ages ago. So enjoy the rehousing. So this is what it's currently living in another hexagonal enclosure. Now, I really liked the design of this one. I've got it in one of my see-through lid versions. Uh, the spiders run down the back. You might not be able to see properly. It's in this corner, so you probably can't. But I've got a mossy cave in there. I love mossy cave looks. They're one of my favorite looks in enclosures. It's buried its water dish somewhere as well. But there are also mold problems occurring in this one. So I really do want to get it out. I don't want any you know, harm to come to this tea. It is one of my favorites. And you will see why, you will see why when those colors pop in this video. Fingers crossed, we get some good shots. So let's have a look at what we're putting this one into. Ta-da, another moss-filled adventure. So there we have it. Bigger water dish and a mossy cave woodland type scene very similar to what it's currently in and thriving in so now is the job of getting this beauty from there to there do we do it on Kamorabi again or shall I do it on the table shall we try it on the table if it goes wrong I'll never do it again <laughs> let's do this Okay, so just like we did on Kamora B, one enclosure goes through to the lid into the next enclosure. I think this is a bit of a better view than you had on Kamora B. Um, I've placed a box here, so if the spider were to run this way, which is the way, you know, furthest from my hand, I can't get to it. Whereas this side, I've got a catch cup to hand here. Now this is a skittish tea, um, and can be a defensive tea. Now, I've double strawed this long, long straw uh, purely because my tonging straw method don't know where I've put my tongs again um, I think I've got two pairs and I think I lose them about seven times a week uh, something like that whoa god I don't know if you would have been able to catch that through the uh, camera 
Oh, it's kicking now. Oh, it's not happy, guys. It's kicking like mad and it's bit at the straw. It's holding on to some moss with dear life. Stop boarding yourself. Oh, no, you're too pretty to be doing that. This is why I'm going away from hexagonal enclosures because it's too hard to get the spiders out. I can't simply cut them, you know? It's uh, threat posing now and sticking its bum in the air. So it's really not happy. It is mad. You can't quite tell that the pose that it's doing. Um, I'm not trying to annoy it, I'm still trying to maneuver it. But see how it raises its abdomen? It will also rear up, you see? The straws underneath, this tarantula is in threat pose. What it means is, look how big I am. I'm showing you my fangs, go away. I'm warning you, I will fight. So, I'm not sure if I wanna walk this tea out now. Uh, I might just have to put it in the cup, place the cup on the edge and get it to come out that way. Um, because if it starts doing this on the on the acrylic, we're gonna have a problem. Let me try and maneuver it a bit more and we'll just see what happens, okay? Oh, it's clinging on. See, if it wasn't, if I knew it for a fact it wouldn't bolt, Maybe I can get it to come up into the cup now. Practically lifting it with this straw. Doesn't want to come out, but it does hold on. No, 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 no. It's going everywhere, by the way. Oh, it's going in the cup. Bad timing, I have an itchy nose, Sam. Huh? Right, it's nearly in the cup. So there it is. Now I'm not gonna hold it out in the light much longer. I want it to go I've just realised that my camera was in a silly position. You probably didn't see a lot of that. Oh, bummer. Ruined your own vid, Sam. So I've put this above his hide. As you can see, this is why I don't like filming rehouses. The adjustment of the camera. I don't have multiple cameras to do this. Um, so I've adjusted this pot to go above his hide, this catch cut, hoping so when I push him down, he can go in the darkness and feel happy. Now, there hasn't been any strikes. There's been threats, but empty threats. So, it's no coward, but it's also non-violent. Okay, and it's out. Hallelujah, hallelujah, ba, 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 ba. Right, let's try and get a look at this beauty um, and then I'll show you the houses of some of the others I've sorted out off the camera. Okay, so you're only really gonna get booty and leg shots there. I'm not gonna tease the tarantula out. It's just gone through a whole ordeal of moving house and we all know how stressful moving house can be, right? But yeah, it is a beauty. When we had it before, it had those typical Panfo sling colours and then it pumped into this pinkish, reddish colour and it is beautiful. Right, so in a minute I'm going to fill up that water dish but for a moment I'm going to let it settle. Uh, uh, no. So that's the point there where I had to cut the video because I started blabbering on about things that have already come to pass. So I hope you enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. I have no more pre-recorded Realm for rehouses, but we do still have some more to do in the future. I've noticed my rehousing videos don't always do particularly well unless I get something exciting happen like an escapee. So 
I might do a bunch of them off the camera. If you really, really do want to see them on the camera, then please comment below so that I know that you guys actually want to see that. I have done about seven or eight off the camera already, smaller ones into smaller homes, which is a lot of these ones here um, on the shelf above me. But yeah, we're gonna leave it there, folks. I'll see you in the next video, and please stay tuned for the next video as well because I've got a clip in it that I would love you guys to see. So take care, everyone. Bye-bye.